Bayard was built in Britain by R. B. Longridge and Company of the Bennington Ironworks for the first railway in Italy, the Royal Neapolitan Railway. The concession to build the railway between Naples and Nocera was let to a French company headed by Armand Joseph Bayard de Ventry in February 1837. De Ventry offered to build at his own cost the railway, so long as his company could work the railway on a 99-year lease, but this was later reduced to a mere 80 years. The first four and a half miles of line between Naples and Portici was opened at 12 noon on the 3rd of October 1839 by King Ferdinand II of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. De Ventry imported two locomotives from Bedlington de Bayard, named after himself, and the Vesuvio, named after the volcano. There were examples of the Stevenson patentee type built under license. These standard gauge locomotives with driving wheels 5 feet 6 inches in diameter, a pair of inside cylinders measuring 14 by 18 inches, the boiler contained 82 inch outside diameter brass tubes, and working boiler pressure was 50 psi. The valves were worked by Budicom type valve gear with opposed sets of gabs exactly like that used on Lion, seen in Liverpool Museum today. Weight in working order, including the tender, was in the region of 13 tonnes. Bayard and Vesuvio were capable of speeds of over 30 miles per hour, and on the opening day, the first trip from Naples to Portici was made in 10 minutes, the train having on board 258 passengers in 8 carriages, amongst whom was the king and 48 special guests, 60 army officers, 30 infantrymen, 30 artillerymen, 60 sailors, and in the last open carriage at the back of the train, the entire band of the Royal Guard. During its first month of operation, the line carried 58,000 passengers and additional locomotives, rolling stock, as well as technical personnel including firemen and drivers, had to be ordered from Britain. To solve this problem from 1842, the railway became self-sufficient, converting a former cannon foundry at Pietrasa into a railway works. Often described as the first locomotive to operate in Italy, that honour in fact goes to Vesuvio, which was used to pull the opening train. In fact, Bayard wouldn't arrive in Italy until December 1839, which meant that the Vesuvio had to handle traffic single-handedly. But when it came to celebrating the centenary of Italian railways in 1939, no drawings for the Vesuvio could be found, whilst those for the Bayard could. So a working replica of Bayard was built by the Italian State Railways at the workshop in Florence. Thereafter, the locomotive was on static display at various locations until 1989, when it was restored to steam to take part in the 150th anniversary celebrations of Italian railways, which coincided with the opening of the Italian National Railway Museum in Pietrasa near Naples, where the replica and his replica coaches are now on display. I hope you have enjoyed this video on the Bayard, and if you have, please leave a comment below and get the conversation started. Please also, if you haven't already, like, share and subscribe. And if you feel able, you can also support Rail Story via Patreon and Ko-fi for as little as a takeaway cup of coffee once per month. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.